Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a fish trap out of two 2 liter bottles of soda pop. So first, you're going to take your first soda bottle, take your X-Acto knife, and you're going to cut it over here, over here, all around like this. So. This piece you're going to set aside right over here. Now, this you don't need it. It's uh, you're not going to use this, so you can put it in the garbage. Now you take your second one, and you're going to do the same thing as what you just did, but you're going to cut off the back, the bottom. Okay. Now that you cut off the bottom of it you're going to put that away because you don't need that anymore either. Now you're going to take the top that you just cut off from the other one and you're going to put it into the bottom of this one. I don't know if you can see properly. Like this. You're going to take it, put it inside. Can you see properly? Like this. Okay. Okay, now that you put the top of the other bottle into this one, you're going to take duct tape, ordinary duct tape, and you're just going to kind of tape it up all around so it's sealed nicely. And just do that all around. So put your last piece on, and now you're done. So you can see this piece here, this one is uh, solidified inside, it's not going anywhere. Now you're almost done. Um, the reason I use two bottles, because some people just cut out the top and put it upside down, but then it ends over here and it's much smaller. This way you can just unscrew it here and dump out the fish. Well, just so you know, the fish are probably this big. They're not going to be much bigger than that, little minnows. And um, yeah, once you're done that, you're going to use you can use two things to make little holes all over through the bottle you're going to make little holes you can see this one that I've already made I don't know if you can see the holes can you see them? no you can't see them sorry. so in the holes so that the water can go through you can either use this which is a, wor a wood burner to engrave in wood or simply if you don't have this you can just use a wire heat it up in a candle or with a blowtorch and then just melt them through little holes. So I'm going to use this. Okay, so my wood burner is heated up. Took about a minute. You're just going to go around just melting in little holes about a one and a half inches distance of each other. I would say towards here, you're going to put two closely, cl close together, nice size ones, not too small, like this. Can you see the two that are close together, right there, two right next to each other. So those two holes that you put close together, they're going to be used for attaching the string. You can just take any kind of string. Uh, any string that's nice and strong because is what you're going to be pulling it out of the water with. So you're going to put it in through one hole and out the other. Now you can either try and fold the string like this and push it in and pull it out from the other one, but that's not very easy. So watch carefully what I'm doing. I'm putting it through one of the holes. I'm making it come out through the other one over here. Feeding it through. I'm going to go on the other side pull it through. Okay, I'm going to push it back through the other one. 
I mean, back through the same hole, and it's, and it's gonna I'm gonna guide it out of this of the hole that I wanted to come out of. Might take you a minute. There we go. And once you have it here, simply just pull it. Now, oops. Now you can just put it to the right length that you want it. Tie yourself a nice, strong knot. Alright, now that you've tied on your string, you're pretty much done. I mean, you got to find yourself one cap to put here, the top. And um, to bait it, it's very simple. Just take some, anything, bread, anything you want. Just put it in through this hole. And um, <clears throat> at the end of, of the string, you can tie a stick and just plant it into the ground next to the lake or the river or whatever you're going to put the trap in. Throw the trap in. Oh yeah, one thing you're going to notice is it's going to fill up with water, but it's going to float. So you're going to want to put some stones, some rocks, some sand, something in it to make it heavier. So when it fills up with water, it'll go to the bottom. When it's at the bottom of the water, if you can see, if it's like this, you're not going to get any fish. So you want it to be on its side anyway, as long as it's on its side. It can be up a bit, down a bit, that's fine. Um, <coughs> to get the fish out, you just, as I said before, unscrew the top and pour it out. They'll come out. And um, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll get back to you soon, as soon as possible. Thanks.